I want to show a little bit of my software defined receiver acting as a pan adapter for my Tentec Eagle transceiver. My Tentec Eagle is an older transceiver um, and one of the early runs of the Eagle production that didn't have an IF output for uh, other pan adapters. So I'm actually using a receive antenna with my SDR with a front end protector on that SDR to keep it from being overloaded by a transceiver. And uh, the transceiver is on my outdoor antenna, the uh, SDR is on my indoor antenna, and I'm looking at 40 meters here. And it's uh, this is what the SDR is seeing, not the transceiver. And if I turn the volume up a bit on the on the transceiver, the transceiver is tuned to whatever frequency I click on in the SDR. So if I click here, it's retuned my transceiver to that frequency. And I can zero beat it by simply clicking on the, uh, the signal there. So it's really nice for uh, jumping around and seeing other signals in the band. And again, that's the SDR is showing us a pan adapter, but we're not listening to the SDR. We're listening to the transceiver, which is being retuned by HDSDR's CAT control. Now, another thing that's going on here is um, the SDR is feeding 192 kilohertz of spectrum into CW Skimmer. So, uh, CW Skimmer, of course, is a nice application that it can show you who's calling CQs, good for contesting. Um, if someone's sending faster than you can copy, you can also um, click on that and down here at the bottom it's showing us the uh, decoded message and it's, it's pretty accurate. So I can change frequencies both by clicking in uh, my pan adapter display I just clicked off of a station. All right, now it's back. Or I can change frequencies up here in CW Skimmer. So if I click on this signal, it's a weaker signal. I've turned my radio, but it's retuned my transceiver to uh, 703307, and you can see that that's corresponding to the frequency 703307 here and if uh, you could see my transceiver you would see the same frequency so I'm using the pan adapter or I'm using the uh, SDR to drive the display of uh, the waterfall so I can click around and I'm using the SDR to feed the audio of CW skimmer because uh, CW skimmer will decode 150 or maybe even 500 CW signals during a contest as long as it's receiving a wide enough bandwidth. And if I were to try to drive CW Skimmer straight from my radio, I would only be able to give it, you know, three, uh, three kilohertz at a time of signal, and then I would be listening to all that noise around the CW signal. So I'm able to um, zero in on a, on a station, and I can narrow down my, my bandwidth as much as I want. Um, so if I were to just look around in CW Skimmer rather than in the pan adapter I can see, see this station. It's just caused my transceiver to retune to that. Anyway, so it's like made my old transceiver um, really modern and as long as your transceiver has a cat control doesn't matter how old it is, as long as it's got a cat control you can use an SDR with an external receive antenna, as long as you have some protection on that external receive antenna, to um, uh, be a nice digital front end interface for your, uh, your older radio. Turn the volume down here a bit. So one other bit of protection, I have a, I have a RF front end protector, as I said, for the SDR, the software defined radio, and it's basically a bulb. Um, you know, the designs for these are all over the internet. It's, it's a bulb with a couple of uh, uh, reverse diodes behind it and uh, a gas discharge tube to catch larger impulse. 
and it'll protect uh, that bulb basically absorbs extra RF. You can't transmit through it. It's only for receivers, but it does protect the receiver fairly well. If I, when I do transmit though, it lights it up pretty well, and I don't I don't like that. So I've built a I've ordered a little kit called yet another front end receiver. It's a nice little kit. It's got three relays, but it's a a uh, simple little kit provided by uh, a ham in Czechoslovakia. I'll include the link. And he uh, charges $20 including shipping. And these relays are a little hard to find. So um, it's nice that he sources them. And I don't have facilities for making a, a PCB. So he creates his own PCBs. And, and it's a nice, nice little product. Okay, so there you have it. Using an SDR as a front end receiver for your older transceiver and you can end up with uh, a relatively modern uh, modern rig thanks for watching